In this video, we're going to look at the clove, the munter, and the mule. Uh, so the clove hitch, you all know, ski patrollers, you use the clove all the time. Make those bites, slide one behind the other, take that, take those two loops, clip them in there, lock that sucker down. When I pull it snug, I should have ends coming out of either side and the rope shouldn't feed through it. Easy, you've done it a thousand times. Unclip this. If I come back to these two loops that I started with initially, rather than sliding one behind the other for the clove hitch, if I close the book, right, folding it in half, then I can clip these two loops here, clip these two loops in there, and I end up with something that slides where rope actually does feed through the carabiner one way or the other. Rope will feed right through. This is called a munter hitch. The munter hitch is really useful for us for belaying and rappelling. Um, if I have this munter hitch just loaded, and I've got this end is my brake end, this is my load brake end here, load strand here, I can tie off my munter hitch by using uh, a mule. And the mule, I simply make a loop, and then I take a bite and stick the bite through that loop. I can go ahead and feed some through that that, so that that bite ends up being kind of big. And that's my mule, and then I back up my mule with a single overhand right there. So now I've got my munter, my mule, and my single overhand, and my munter's tied off and secure.